Hey everyone, my female entrepreneurs, welcome to another episode of the Power Hour with your host, me, Lauren Powers. And today I have a special guest. I'm so excited to bring her on. Her name is Paula D'Andrea. She is a coach and a consultant. Her complete bio, I'm going to let her tell you a little bit more about herself in just a minute. But this is where female entrepreneurs can uh, learn special tips and tricks from our experts on three major, major areas on how to be healthy, which is so important, my favorite, wealthy, and happy. If you got those two, you should be pretty happy. So with no further ado, Miss Paula, welcome to the show. Thanks, Lauren. It's really, really great to be here. And I'm, I'm happy to be spending some time with you and your audience. It's going to be a, a really, really lot of information exchange yes. going here because I feel like we kind of have some similar uh, backgrounds, definitely on the fitness end. So perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Well, let's dive right in. Tell me a little bit about yourself and then we'll kind of go into, you know, one of your topics and then your gifts at the end and what you have for our audience. So make sure you stay till the end, guys, because I know Paula's offering some pretty generous gifts. So here we go. Hit it. Okay, cool. I <laughs> hit it. This is you. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's all me. It's all me. It's all you. Um, it's all about you. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, um, I've been in this arena for quite a while in the personal development um, field for quite a while and have always had, you know, I'd say some heavy hitters that I work with, power players, uh, both in my fitness business and my coaching business. I've scaled both of them to um, six figures. And um, when I look back at that, I've also been kind of the go-to person my entire life. So it fits right in with being an advocate um, and a guide for strong, passionate uh, leaders who at some point face their own challenges that they're having a hard time getting past, especially if they're a physical or um, mental type of a, um, a challenge. And you know, they need some strength to, to fall back on. And that's where I come in to help um, get them out of that, restore their energy so that they can then be in a position where um, they have a greater impact, greater visibility, and resulting from that greater profitability. So um, those are the type of people I, I fall in with, people who uh, own a small business, who are CEOs, who um, high impact entrepreneurs, you know, real kind of like the go-getters. And, um, and people, and, and also like a big part of that too is, is that they're conscious minded uh, as I am. So it, it's not like reinventing the wheel. There's something there in their product or their service that really resonates for me and um, brings us together. It really is a coming together, more of a co-creative process than just do this, do that. You know, that's not my approach at all. I'm looking for the best of what someone has to find those hidden gems. And usually it's the thing that, um, that they're hiding, you know, something that is, that they're really sensitive about that really has become, um, that thing that they keep on running into. So, um, yeah. Awesome. So, okay. Well, what are some of the examples like of some of these energy drains that people tend to run into or these blocks that you're talking about? Like, um, sure. Um, I'll start with uh, the energy drains are, we'll start with some that, you know, that people may encounter at work. Um, since, you know, we're, we're leading in for, um, uh, a leadership crew and, and people who are in business. And one of the, the biggest things is um, being unfulfilled, of uh, being in that, that place of um, within their job or their career where it's just they've really flatlined and they're not really sure where to go next, what to go next, um, you know, the, the uncertainty of transition, um, you know, not quite knowing how to apply their skill set in a different way. So those are things that really start, uh, you know, building up a lot of stress with someone and getting into to, uh, overload. If they're in an office, it could be office politics, 
um, you know, an unfriendly environment and whether they're in a home office or in a, uh, a uh, business office, you know, it's the, the pile up, um, whether it be, you know, literally what's on their desk, on their, in their inbox, um, anything that's unfinished, calls, emails, so forth. Um, then we could get, get into <laughs> the financial area. Yeah, right? The stressful. Um, and everybody has, it, it totally is. I mean, that is one of the things, um, you know, a perfect example. I, I mean, I have, uh, it's a very real thing. I had a guy who, um, uh, here at a WeWork in, in Los Angeles and works for a, a film company. And um, he's like, you know, like, like every day, it's like, I'm going to do this and it, I don't get to it. And then it, it's just more and more overwhelm. So one of my, big, my biggest things is first off is getting, you know, get organized. And it, and it is that getting into that clutter free zone. So that's, uh, that's one right there. And we look at things like, you know, in a money and financial area is that someone is overextended, you know, um, they're, or they're, you know, they're overspending, uh, they're not watching their budget. Mm -hmm. um, they may be in debt, they've got overdue bills, um, you know, and even uh, what I find quite a lot with um, small business owners um, and, and entrepreneurs is, is that they're not charging enough. And mm -hmm. they get into a project and they're realizing how much work it really is and they go on crap, I should have, you know, charged more. Um, right. Also too, there is, in, 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 interesting enough, with men and women is that their quotes may be off. So um, when they're doing it in a, they're, they're just not charging enough because of not realizing the value of what they bring. And it's also uh, an area that then lends itself to, uh, especially when someone is, is in, a, in a more of a, a corporate environment where they're looking to advance in a position and they're saying, you know, it's just not equitable for the value that I'm bringing. I'm not getting, getting what, what is there. So those are two. Then we have, you know, from a personal standpoint, um, pain. Um, a lot of people sitting, you know, as we've, we've heard, is that sitting is the new smoking. And, um, <laughs> you know, not, <laughs> you know, the self-care goes down, um, inactivity, um, pain points, uh, working at a computer, working at a desk, driving a lot, whatever it may be. And one of the big things is, um, a, you know, for like trapped energy is posture. It's been a lot of time uh, also <laughs> going, yes, as she sits. Well, there, yeah. there's a difference between like, you know, I mean, I'm sitting back a little bit, but my core is engaged, you know, like I'm, I'm sitting, I'm actually sitting on my erectors and on my sit bones. So I mean, it seems, you know, I'm, I'm relaxed because I want to have a, you know, be relaxed while I'm speaking to this, but I'm also just, you know, you train yourself um, for those type of things. So there's one um, unresolved conflicts uh, with themselves and with other people, very draining. Mm -hmm. And it takes, all of these things just take focus away from what you could be doing productively and creatively. Um, procrastination, perfectionism. Oh, Those are, and people don't think of that, but it is very draining because it's like, you know, it's that in, in the instance, and I could say probably every single one of uh, my clients, when I go through, even the guy I was, was speaking about referencing a, a few minutes ago mm -hmm. is that's a big one. You know, it's, you know, thinking I've got to do, there's like, you know, all this pressure, I've got to do this because like they've got this internal checklist that it's like, you know, I think uh, many of us, especially in the online community, hear that expression, you know, done is better than perfect. And I think that more and more people start adopting that, um, that uh, philosophy and, and getting an action because you may not, you're not going to know all the moving pieces all at once. However, when you start getting an action, first of all, the, the universe loves action. And that's when you really start to manifest things. And what happens is that you get into a different flow. You start activating your creativity. You become more productive because you start getting a momentum. And then answers start to come to you. So it's really, you know, um, 
helps you get past a lot of those other drains, the perfectionism, the procrastination, all of that type of thing as well. And then we have from a health standpoint, um, sugar, <laughs> which we discuss that a little bit further down the, down the line, but okay. that is a, a huge drain because it's zapping people's energy, like on a major, major um, level, along with other poor nutrition choices. Um, inactivity, uh, no exercise, and as I mentioned before, you know, self-care, just going down, not giving yourself the outlets, the external outlets that help release some of that internal energy that is, that is building up. You know, you have to, wherever you're, you're spending your time working on during the day, um, so far as your career or your job, you then, it's really healthy to then, you know, expend some energy and get rid of some stored up energy and then so that you can receive new energy. That makes perfect sense. Just get out and move. I mean, you know, I'm a health coach as well. And so my whole thing is putting your first yourself first and that whole self care mm -hmm. thing, self love, the self love, I think what comes into your energy drains and your and getting yes. up and not charging enough, knowing your value. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then, and then again, knowing how much time and effort it is, like even for producing something like this, we talked about it. it it's, it's a lot of back end work that people don't realize. It's, it, it, total there's so much um that goes into to putting this together uh yeah we did talk about it and i've done one uh as well and um tremendous amount of technology you know uh just in, in just the thing of you know 20 people 25 people that you're yes. going to they all have to get their info in they have to get their you know the timeliness the you know there's, there's a of lot them. of moving yeah exactly moving so part. there's that and that exactly Exactly. But, so you know, that's I, I didn't worry about being perfect. It can be messy. It's okay. It can, you know, people are gonna judge it and it's okay because I'm I'm gonna move forward and just keep moving mm -hmm. forward, like you said, and just mm -hmm. put it into action. And yeah. if I would just wait till it's perfect and I know exactly how to do this, I would never get done. So we're pulling exactly. the and we're just doing it. I, I'm I'm just going for it and I'm manifesting an amazing power hour show, which it's already happening. So that's a big part of it. Congratulations. Of yeah, thanks. Because that's awesome. If I if I did, I'm happy to be a part of it as well too. Yeah, Yay, it's, it's yes, fun sure. to. It's always fun to be, you know, in the making of something and 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 experiencing that. And you're exactly right because hey, you know what? In in some of these things that I'm speaking about with yes. you know procrastination, perfectionism, you know, uh, I I I've I learned you know the hard way of of getting on that. And I think that's that is one of the biggest things. You know, when I'm when I'm you know, uh, onboarding with somebody is getting into that place of, okay, let's get the organization down. Let's, that's like the first thing that you can do is, and we make a checklist, you know, wh okay. what are the drains? What, what are the, what are you tolerating? You know, it's kind of basic coaching one-on-one, but it's really, really helpful. And when you can just, you know, put that, that, whether it's post-its or, you know, putting it up on your whiteboard or however you're going to do it. And, um, you know, just go through that checklist. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm talking with people who are, you know, they're, they're up there. They've got some power behind them and they've done some amazing things like, um, you know, multi-million dollar projects and, and so forth. And just going back to those basics and they go, yeah. And gosh, that helps so much. Um, to just go step by step, then it kind of, you know, more things click in, but, you know, just having that adjustment and bringing in it a little bit because they're so chunked up. Um, you know, I've got, I, I remember another guy I had, and I mean, you could just always see the wheels turning, <laughs> you know, um, I worked, uh, you know, I worked in person, of course, with my fitness training, but my coaching and consulting has always been virtual. Um, so either we're doing something like this on Zoom or we're on a, on a phone call. And during the phone, I can hear the wheels turning. You know what I mean? And they're like, they're, they're like so chunked up um, that, you know, because they've got, you know, it's like, uh, and, I, and I get it because I'm like this as well. You know, have you ever seen the movie A, a Beautiful Mind? Yes. Um, where he's constantly, you know, like these thoughts come in and you're just like writing on everything, you know, Basquiat was like that as well too, is like the, 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 the influence comes in, the download comes in and it's like anything you can get your hands on to draw or write or say <laughs> what it, what, 
the, the thing is to get it out and that so you don't forget it because you know you just get bombarded with all of these things so that's kind of um you know what happens and it's like okay how can we meter that out so that you still have that level of creativity but there's more of a flow to it and you can bring yourself easily into that into that space um one of the uh the exercises that I do with people is putting them in the reset zone, as I call mm -hmm. it, and it just allows them, rather than internal meditation, which is what a lot of people do to try to get focused, it actually is an external um, meditation, and it just brings a level of awareness, and it simply is just, you know, very easy to access. Um, as a matter of fact, I could share it with you really quickly, not going into the full thing, but kind of give you the steps, and it's, um, this I is something that, that uh, <laughs> sports good. people do that... Um, yeah, yeah, I'll spend some time with you to, to go through. Um, yeah. And um, as a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write it down right now, and I'm going to add this as a bonus uh, nice. for people. Yeah, when we get to uh, that with, um, especially for, for those people that come into my, um, my uh, VIP, I will, I'm going to add this in to do it. But it's it's putting yourself into a space where you start to um, you know really access more of your peripheral rather than staying like right here for what's I in nurse. front of you. And for most people, when that work, yeah, exactly, it's the foveal. It's like you know all that stuff that is the busy stuff. And um, this is really what happens is that it starts bringing you into more of a connection with your subconscious. Uh, mind and body and um, through this you'll hear more about that a lot of people when they speak about subconscious is they're always referring to the mind and it causes a lot of conflicts and it's also why a lot of people are really PO'd that they still are dealing with the same things from my standpoint um, I've been dealing with the body for for years I have my own um, I was born and born with my hips out of my sockets called hip dysplasia so from the time I came into the world, I've had a physical thing. I've gone on to, um, you know, I've been hit by a van. I've had multiple surgeries. I've had a staph infection, um, you know, high emotional wow. cases, you know, different things that I've had to deal with. So through the, my recovery process, I've learned. And wow. also want to throw this in too, is that um, when we talk about stress, uh, I actually studied with a, with a group that was based out of Florida. They came down to uh, San Diego, and I think it was four seasons that we went to down there. Um, and I did this workshop with them, and it was all these Navy SEALs and stuff like that, and Border Patrol, and, and um, you know, we talked about performance, the whole, that was the workshop. And I remember one of the things that, that one of the exercises that we did was putting us in stressful situations, how to recover and so forth. So there's good stress that is happening every day it's healthy for us to have that it's how you respond to it or how you react to it that is really what becomes detrimental and also too with those bigger things that happened here's the thing is, is that you have the stress and where your growth really happens is in your recovery phase right okay. right and i know that again firsthand especially from having a let's put it in the example of having a surgery so there's a lot of stress that goes into that as well, too, the planning, the medical, the this, the that, and uh, also getting your body prepped for that. For me, that's like number one. Um, it, you know, after the first one, it was like, okay, um, every time you have it, you're a little bit lower, older, your metabolism is changing, all these kind of things. So you want to get yourself in the best condition possible. It's kind of like, you know, when I was training women who run, they want to get married, they want to have kids within a couple of years, get yourself in the best position now. That way, when something comes up, you're in a better position for it because you have, you have that pre-op phase, then you have the, the surgery or procedure, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And then the big thing is okay. you have the rehabilitation, the growth process, the afterwards. And that is really where a lot of focus should be. What will I be doing at that time? And how am I going to to address it and get through it? And um, that's a big one. And it's a lot of people don't think about that because they're so focused on this part and they're not seeing the bigger picture. 
and where the focus is what really is going to help them in the long run is is a plan for that you know it's kind of like when someone is looking to transition they're going from corporate to entrepreneur or small business mm -hmm. right you need to see the whole layout this is where i am this is what i like to be doing and then what is the you know how can i kind of project and i think where a lot of people get stuck is they're being unrealistic about how long that's going to take and also what it's going to entail and what's going to be part of it and with you know having been around the block a few times on a lot of different levels business wise um physically you know mentally um all these type of things um i'm i'm really those are the type of things that i'm training in to help you know trained in people, and yeah. responsive to to say okay here are some areas to start looking at so let's do this part let's do that part as you notice even when we spoke about the drains so it was like okay here's the work part here's the money part here's the health part and here's the personal part and there's it it is that you know kind of like breaking it down a little bit more yeah, because it is yeah exactly and 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 being able to take that in so i think that's um you know, one of the the biggest things that uh, my clients respond to are that um, uh, not only do I do I have a strategy that is basically my assessing, um, giving information, and providing a strategy. Those are my part of my gifts of, of what I have to offer. And they say in through that too is, is that there's there's pragmatic for sure. Um, their strength um, and, and empathy um, and the strength and empathy really actually all three the pragmatic the strength and the en empathy come from I've been through it I've had you know adversity I've had life events that I've had to um, take a look at um, on, on different levels and um, you know they really appreciate that so it's um, it's not just you know some type of knowledge that comes out of you know a book or whatever. There's you know a really a realistic approach. Well, you know, I mean, it, it happens, right? Like you go to, I mean, I've had um, surgeons that I've had to go speak with, and they're they don't have a comprehension of they know what they know, and they're up here because they've got you know <laughs> to run a different plane than than most of us, and that's why they talk about bedside manner because the relatability and knowing actually what the person who is in pain and what is terrified of in many cases of mm -hmm. what they're going to go through um they're they're not in that in that vein they only know like this is what this is what my surgery looks like i need to do this this and this but so far as the other aspect um not really and you know there's some people that are really really great at that that have really good information that don't have the experience but it just brings in another element with you know to be with somebody you know um i've got some delicate things that people are addressing so you know there's there's the trust factor um there's the experience and there's that safer that they know that they're going to come into that you know um this is something that maybe I've been avoiding um, to address. And I really know it's, it's bumping up against me and now is my time to, to get in and, and, and get you know, that piece that, that I've been missing. And, and I say that I have a phrase piece by piece because it really is that, is that you know, there's that little piece that we're looking for, but then you know, once they get it, it's like, one of the biggest comments I, I get and compliments that I get is, wow, I, I feel at peace. The peace of mind that I just got from that, like, I don't feel crazy anymore. My anxiety has been reduced. I, you know, whatever it is that's coming through, I feel like I have more energy. Um, I work with people in person or, you know, again, or on Zoom, and you can literally see it on their face. It's like, you know, in their bodies. And it is when they make that, that connection with the mind and the body, not just like all of a sudden they have a ping in their mind, which is great, but you've got to get it in, 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 in both places. And when it's lingering within the body, um, especially for someone who has done a lot of different programs or therapy or, you know, coaches or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like, what the? 
you know, You're right. and, you know, really, and my heart goes out to them and it's, you know, that's part of my, um, yes. uh, yeah, my, my nourishing, my, of really wanting to help people get through it because, you know, I've been in those, those places too. So I know that the pain levels emotionally, mentally, physically, it's a lot. So yeah, when somebody can get that, that, that piece, um, it is a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. I get it. I mean, some of this stuff can be pretty overwhelming, not to use that word, but it seems to be all encompassing. So when you said about the energy drain, that really resonated with me because when you, and your brain dumping, so you can allow mm -hmm. get rid of the old and in with the new and make yeah. space and just make space mm -hmm. that logically that really hit home and and I'm excited to do that because if we're so full and then we just keep putting more, we're gonna explode, right? Mm -hmm. So we got to yep. clear some of that stuff out through your work and your expertise, and I love that you've experienced so many things. Some people would you know they'd be taken down by that but you use it as an opportunity now to educate and share and influence and serve others through mm -hmm. your own pain points and, and surgeries and all these things that you've had to endure to now get people on the other side of that. And like you said, now they feel more relaxed, less anxiety. They trust you because you've been through it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's really a, a internal gift that you have. And I'm, I'm glad you're sharing that because not everybody does that. Some people go through these things and never share and it doesn't serve anybody. And it's actually a disservice if you don't speak your message. Yeah. Yeah. Lauren, yeah. Thanks, you know? Lauren. I appreciate it. Um, you're noticing that. And then also um, in, in doing that is um, and, and to let you know, I mean, there were points where, um, you know, my, my spirit was was broken as well too and there or were um, <laughs> times to yeah you know i mean there's there's those aspects of um and, and do you mind if i share a little bit uh more in inside okay. of that um yeah is you know people always have this um discussion of what is it, you know, what is the worst thing that could happen? You know, and is it, could I deal with something that is physical? Could I deal with something that is emotional? Um, you know, and those type of things. And I've been at both ends. So I had the accident and that was like a whole, like, you know, that's a whole story in and of itself. And we could really get um, deep into that. Um, and I say it was really, I like got cut off at my knees, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the ramifications of everything that came out of it, um, you know, brought my business down, my finances, got hit by somebody who was uninsured, you know, uh -huh. multiple surgeries, like all of this kind of thing. And so, yeah, those were like all the physical aspects, then also a lot of emotional stuff that was in there and also spirit. Like I was, you know, I, I, I earned my SAG card. Um, I did some acting and still uh, play in that, that world as well too. Um, Earn my SAG card uh, on a commercial. There you go. There you go. Yes, exactly. Of um, you know, my physicality was a big part of it, and not just that too. Is yeah. that that was a big part of my outlet of you know getting my my energy out. You know, I was talking about my hip dysplasia when I was a kid too. I also then had a had a, um, a thing with my knee. They call it Osgood Schlatter. So it's basically like the bone grows through the tuberosity. And I had this lump on my knee and they put a cast on it. And I was still out running around and riding my bike and the cast slid down and they go one more time and you're getting the full cast from, you know, hip to heel, <laughs> you oh, know, the whole boy. thing. And I'm like, okay. And, and, you know, so that's kind of like, uh, you know, then I had to, uh, you know, go through that. But um, all of that, that, that goes with that you you deal with it you do literally get back on your feet like i've literally had to you know break a new knee in several times and you know uh, go through all of that the rehab and you know all these kind of things but the biggest thing um was i got dropped to my knees and that was uh my my uh my sister lisa was in the uh, station on club fire and that brought a whole new spectrum I had had with the accident and all that kind of stuff and the staph infection and I had a high amount of stress, um, depression, post-traumatic stress, but this was like nothing else that <clears throat> I had experienced. And, 
you know, those type of things are real. When people talk about, um, you know, anything that they've been through, whether it's divorce or, um, you know, a, a postpartum or, you know, um, you know, losing their job, um, all of these type of things that happen, um, my belief is, is, is having gone through it and then, you know, like really digging into it is that I think there's so many people that have a level of post-traumatic stress. Every time that you have a loss, I think that you have, you know, something of that. And then of course, you know, we can't compare of, um, you know, someone who's been at war and, you know, you've got all these vets coming back with it and all that kind of stuff. But they tell you, like the chemicals that get released are insane, um, as with many other things. These are not things that people are thinking, they just get over it. You know, you've had your time, your grief or whatever, just get over it. And it's like, you know, um, not that easy. They, they're not like in the trenches. It's like, you know, I like to say, like, you're, you're, you're like, it's like you're underwater. And if you've ever seen some of those, um, like people that do the base jumping when they, when they practice or, you know, and they get under with those boulders and they're trudging through the ocean floor carrying that, it's like you're feeling that, like you hear like these voices way off. And it's the weirdest thing ever. Um, <clears throat> and my, um, after, the staph infection, all of the pain medication, which then again, another story that really sent my body in, in every aspect of me uh, in another direction. Um, and then, the, you know, the antibiotics and all of these things, of, they just wipe out everything, good and bad, in your body. And it, you're really depleted. And at that point, um, I was just like, you know, no more. Like, I really, really then dug in for a more holistic approach. That approach had had started with me when I um, was very young. My family owned a pharmacy and um, I worked there and I would see people come in with, you know, bags of prescriptions and, um, you know, and I would just be like, no, that's not what I want. Um, being in a third generation alchemist, uh, I'm more prone towards uh, nutrition, um, you know, essential oils, those type of things to help take care of you. And, um, you know, it goes into with what I'm sharing, um, what I'm helping people through and, um, you know, what I do myself again, you know, walk in my talk about, about all of that. So with this, um, this event that happens in my life with the loss of my sister, um, there's nothing that can prepare you for that. There's really just, and you have to go through it. And my choice was, I'm not going to take, um, you know, I'm going to feel I'm going to get in touch with whatever my crap is, you know, my stuff that is my baggage or whatever. I'm going to dive in and I'm going to get to my root causes. And it, you know, I studied, I went through like mastery, NLP, you know, hypnosis, all of these, and it became my, my, my toolkit. And now what I have to share with other people to get them on, on the other side of whatever it is that their event is, whether it's, it's newer or something that happened, um, that they're still hanging on to, especially on a, on a, a physical or emotional level and helping, um, move into, move out of that. So, um, one of the things I found a lot of people, um, one of my NLP, um, uh, tools is using an emotional timeline release. And one of the things that I found really interesting is how many people are carrying, who are grieving, who are carrying around a lot of sadness. And um, it, it really surprised me to then just kind of start seeing that more and more. And the people that were, were, were holding on to, you know, that was just in their body. And one That's of the things yourself, that right? I learned... Yeah, well, it does get to a cellular level. It's like, you know, the thing about it is, is this is that when you're not releasing something, that's why I'm big on like, you know, get out and get your release, whether it just be, you know, go outside and, and yell at the top of your lungs, you know, like, I'll scream in my car, in my plate, whatever, and just be like, ah, you know, and let it go. Because you need to get yeah, you need to let it out. Um, and there's a lot that you know, gets you open everything in your body through breathing, you know, all these different type of things and just noticing what's going on. But it's, um, it is that, that, that release that really helps to move, um, so much of it. And so it's, you know, it seems a little bit crazy, but you know, do a dance break, 
you know, rock out, put up, you know, whatever your thing is, like, you know, like go all out, like, you know, pretend you're, I don't know, um, <laughs> Steven Tyler or, you know, like, you know, do, do like all the things and dance around and move because it is, um, that's exactly what you want to do is you want to get the movement through your body. So it's not just always like this cerebral thing, you know, we're thinking about it. There's a story and trust me, dismantling those stories can be really, really hard. <laughs> um, you know, that's, that's part of my uh, true North method is, is getting in. That's like one of the first steps is whatever, you know, whatever the story is, it's like, that was your, that was your view of it at for many people. Um, at the time of high energy, um, some could be a traumatic event. It could just be an event like, you know, um, you know, heightened awareness, heightened energy, um, heightened emotions, all that kind of thing. So that's like the, what is like, okay, what you have, you know, your memory of, and that may not actually be what happened. And when you get removed from it, the more that you start to heal, you say, okay, let me look at it again. And I was like, Oh wow, that's surprising. It seems so much more at that, you know, like I've been giving it more than what actually really happened. You know, it's kind of like that, that two sides of the story, you know, you and I could have a, you know, you know, it was like, okay, well, this was what I got out of it. This is what I got out of it. And we're here. We're kind of here on some parts. We're right here on some parts. And then we go away and it's your mind does the same thing. Okay especially your subconscious mind, then what happens is that your body has a recollection. Because these are the things I don't think people are talking about. I was, you know, I've been talking about systems for a while. I'm also a medical intuitive, so I studied conscious anatomy, is that, you know, you have a nervous system, you have a respiratory system, you have a, a your pulmonary system, your endocrine, you know, all these type of things, your immune system, mm -hmm. and all of them are getting affected. You know, when you're in, a, in those places where, you know, fight, flight, or, you know, whatever, that makes you go ping, your heart rate's going up, your blood pressure is going up. Um, you know, there's so many physiological changes that are taking place, and your body remembers that. Oh, sh you know, here it comes again, you know, and your mind is like, you know, got another loop that's going on. And so when people say, oh, yeah, I went to, you know, whatever program, and I've got this, and then they get in the same situation, their body is stirring it up and they're going, no, 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 you know, here. So the, you know, there's, you got to bring them together. It's a, it, it is that like, let's, let's see and, and restore from this place, release, have the release so that I can restore my energy. So that's a lot of what I'm, I'm coming from. Some of it, some people have things that are more on the surface. They don't spend as much, they don't need as much time. And some people have deeper things that are a little more traumatic that they need to, you know, spend some time with. So, um, you know, there's a different, different ends of the uh, ends of the spectrum. Awesome. So how do you find out where they're at? Like, is there a test or some sort of intuitive thing you do? Or how do you figure out where people are? Um, is um it's having a conversation you know in finding and um you know first of all the biggest thing is this and i'm and i'm big on this um being uh energetic and being intuitive mm -hmm. is that i do want somebody to to feel comfortable i want them to feel that they're coming into a into a safe container there's no point in to anything um, without knowing that you have a core. So that's really is the first thing that I'm looking for is, is that is, is coming into a space of, you know, where we open dialogue and just really not even get into like, you know, whatever, but just, you know, see, Hey, can we have a conversation? Because actually kind of like the way that we're talking now mm -hmm. would be how we're doing in a, you know, how I'm in a session where, you know, there's discovery, you know, we're covering different areas. Um, we're, we're feeling into things and, and so forth. There may be some writing and, and so forth that goes on. You know, people forget what, what things, and especially when they are, um, you know, hypersensitive, alert, awareness, like those things that hurt them or shifted them in a, in a way, they're not, 
it wants to stay buried, you know, then there's certain things that, that bring them up or in part, and people are feeling something, they're going, what is that? You know, and it's just like, kept them kind of jerking them all over the place. And they're like, what the F, you know, um, yes. is into that. You don't even give it, is, is something as simple as this, you know, I, I, I have, you know, training, um, I have people fill out a, and I check it out and okay. And then all of a sudden, you know, a few weeks later, we were working on like, oh, you know, I'm like, what's my accident? Like, you know, a couple of years ago or whatever. And I go, uh, some okay, sort of it's trauma event. Because I didn't see it on your thing. And they're like, oh, I forgot the conscious pain, you know. Sure. Again, we could, these are like all areas I get into. Pain is a whole nother spectrum. What's in the fascia, you know, all of these kind of things. We could, exactly. you know, go in depth and in, in these type of, so when you do it, We'll go, or or maybe I'll open one up and 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 have you on to uh, talk about some of these things because there there there's so much to it. Um, oh, it's real. It's it really real. is uh, a fascinating journey, but it's it's real of what somebody is holding on to. So the report of that, and then yes, there's a little bit of um, I have people do that, go through and do a timeline, you know. Um, you know, zero to 10, 10 to 20, yes, 20 yeah. to 30, you know, like break it down. What are some of the events that you experience? Because, because it is exactly that is that, you know, it's not top of mind. You know, you're trying to run a business, you're trying to, trying to run a company, you're trying, you know, you're, you're just I'm like, thinking I, back just, when I, I was too. <laughs> need to lose 20 pounds, you know, I, I'm, I, you know, like I'm not sleeping well. Um, you know, my, my home is that is pushing the, the, the button for them to get into action like that's the thing that is there then there's like a whole nother story that is underneath um and i think that's a that's a big part of it is you know what is that and people they just don't remember you know time has passed um it's found a way to you know stay hidden mm -hmm. um and associated with that are some postural deviations some breathing um you know deviations that cover it up food you know there's all these different uh things it's you know your body is very clever your mind is very clever and you know when people don't want to know they don't know you can so, block it out you know it's kind of like you know if it ain't fixed don't yeah exactly <laughs> um until something does come up that is just like all of a sudden it's like boom and okay now we have to deal with it at least a fraction of it and so the, the thing is, is that, you know, I want to meet somebody where they are. Not everybody is a deep diver. And if it's like, okay, this is the piece and this is the level that we get, that's great because now you have this much more energy to play with, you know? Um, and, it's and, powerful. And it's work, why, uh, it's, you know, one of the discussions, oh, thanks. Thank you. That's Power. no very powerful because, I mean, I've been right. through and ex experienced it myself. I just yeah. went through a, a leadership course and there was a breakthrough portion of it for four full days and just to be transparent with you guys mm. I'm crying every time I spoke I just started crying and that's not where I normally come from that's not my comfort zone so I was very uncomfortable and very vulnerable mm. but I didn't right. I wanted to know why I was so triggered to release tears and it was such a deep emotional state and then I had a pain in my left trap and I had a gal work on me that that's what you were saying. It, it trapped emotions in the fascia and it had to go all and release, get mm -hmm. down my arm. So, I mean, I get what you're saying, and I, but I didn't know. So you, we don't know what we don't know, but for you sharing this information, and I've just personally literally just went through some of these things that you speak on and it's, it's amazing and it's mm -hmm. such good, powerful work. And I, I really suggest people do it because why should we live trapped with these emotions and traumas and events that are not our fault we just have experienced them and they're there mm -hmm. and my goal is yeah. to, i want it out get out get out so i can move on i got things to do <laughs> so i don't want to be held back and come against those blocks like you're sharing about mm -hmm. the, you know, and i can't wait to do an energy drain with you and get some of these things and and did you talk about internal drains be, when we were talking about um I talked um, just about one guy, but I got a couple more that will maybe give you some examples, some better examples of, um, you know, uh, where people are coming from. All of a sudden, you know, I have another uh, another woman who, um, you know, uh, producer, and was, you know, basically like 
saying, I oversee 150 people, multi-billion dollar budgets and projects. Wow. Um, and I use in a shambles. You know. Common. Um, it's common though. More so, common than we think. So, yeah, it's common. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, you know, I, 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 I get it. You know, it's going to, you know, so part of the backstory, you know, so then there's, you know, there's weight issues, there's a divorce there, there's, you know, there's all these different um, things that have Events. happened that, Events, yeah. oh, here, here's, here's an important part of that is that, you know, when I was experiencing my post-traumatic stress with my sister and I was, I was away for um, five or six weeks initially in Rhode Island, um, helping my family, you know, just going through it. Um, it, 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 it's a, and, um, and then I knew, you know, when I was coming back to Los Angeles, that was going to be something else because this is where I live, you know, I was going to come back to my environment. Like that's where I grew up, but it's not where I lived anymore. And I made two choices at that time. One was to become a better person and I will pat myself on the back of saying I'm, I'm standing in that now the power that I have and what I'm doing what I'm sharing with people helping people move through these things I'm very happy about that and then also I had you know an impending uh, surgery that um, really needed to get done but it was in so much emotional pain it was like you know and my second choice was I'm going to take care of myself as best I can so that included you know exercising I could limited you know body of you know all that kind of stuff, nutrition, sleep, all of these kind of things. And those are factors that, you know, to take in, it was like nothing else. It was like, it gave me such focus. And that's what I think for many people there, when there's other areas of their life, they're going through a divorce, they're going through illness, they're going in if they can still work, if they're, you know, um, all these type of things that are in their personal life, they can then come into their professional life and be super focused. Then they get out of that. Eventually, they have to leave after, you know, eight hours, ten hours, twelve hours, whatever it is, and then step back into their life. And that word starts coming. In. They're not eating well. They're not sleeping. You know, there's clutter. There's us. They don't have stuff in their fridge, in their cupboard. I mean, it's it's pretty wild. Um, you know, I had someone else in that that deep space of pain who said, "I'm so. It feels like I have a migraine of my heart." Uh, when I heard that, I was like, it, it, I was like, wow, that is heavy. Um, somebody else, so much adrenal fatigue, couldn't even get to his desk. It's like, you know, like, I know what I need to do. I know I need to get my team up. I know I need to do all this stuff, but I can't even get to my desk. Like, this is reality. Yeah. And it happens. Um so how do you, you know, it's, it's moving, the, you know, peace, right? Mm -hmm. Peace, bring in a little bit of peace, restore the energy, get another piece, restore some energy, feel a little peace and so forth and keep going forward to then you just keep expanding and filling yours with this energy and allowing more of who you are to come to the surface. That's what this is really about. It's about, um, you know, really being in your spirit, what I like to call Pono, um, being right with yourself. Of all these things that have happened, all these things that you've endured, um, they happen. There's not, I, I, I you know, the, my losses, you know, great if they didn't happen, but they did happen. And it's like, okay, how do I go forward? How do I store my energy, my life force? and bring them in what I can do, being a better person, being a better version of myself. Like, yes. really, okay, yeah, and going forward. And not everyone is gonna eat kale and spend two hours gym, I get it, and nor do I want you to do that. However, I'm a cross train, I, I, and, and, and I love this part of the assessment and the creativity is like, I want to get in and I'm like, okay, I've heard everything. I've done weight loss with people. I've worked specifically in a weight loss clinic when I was getting my education to become a trainer. You know, I, I've heard it all. I've heard right. the excuses and then I've also heard the backstories. 
that, you know, I listen. When we're out walking, you know, or somebody is just going into their thing, and then you start hearing all the other stuff that, oh, I'm doing this. Great. And then you get with the real with things. You get into the nitty gritty a little bit, and that's what you got to do. Yeah, it's not like, you know, um, in, in that you're saying it with, you know, um, it's kind of like, you know, when you, when you did really well in school, you know, think about that. You had a good, there was something that resonated with you with that, that teacher. Like, look at your, your leaders in the same vein, you know, make sure that there's, there's a rapport that you're matching up, that, you know, you share some of the same values, that, you know, you, you, you can tune into some of the same things that the beliefs are, even though nobody wants to take that step and do this and let alone invest in it and, you know, all this kind of stuff. But it's so rewarding um, on the on the other side, and this is uh, like some, the gift that keeps on giving. You once you you release and you start tapping in, and you can get into the wealth of and the dynamic, bringing it up and growing it out and releasing more and making more space within your heart, within your mind, within your body. It's magical. That's how you start manifesting. Because you can actually start to, you know, um, tap in a little bit more. You know, you, you feel again. You, you get in touch with that part of you that has just been, you know, on lockdown. That has been holding all of that trapped energy. And then it's like all of a sudden, it's like, you know, the genie in the bottle. Whoosh. Now your wish is my command. Your body can go, okay, what do you want to do now? We got all this, you know, to play with. Now where do you want to go? You've been here. How is that working out for you? <laughs> now let's come here and 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 see what kind of um, what kind of magic can happen in your life. I love that. Okay, so let's and I'm all magic about that. happen. Like, yeah. What can we you know, do? Bring what, it, baby. Yeah. What do you have to offer the audience and stuff as far as getting this magic, getting in touch with some of these things that you talk about? And I think it's um, a guided meditation that you mentioned mm -hmm. yeah the first yeah the first thing is is exactly that um lauren i have a guided meditation for stress relief and the biggest thing you know again just in my i, I kind of feel like um a uh, napoleon hill in a way i've had this opportunity to, to work with hundreds of people and study them and see what their behaviors are how they do you know things around the body and all of these type of things and even in acting, right? You take acting classes. When your body and your mind are most relaxed, that's when, when things can surface, where you're more open, where you're more available, and all of your resource can, resources can start to come into play, right? right. Um, and so the guided meditation is for that, is to go from head to toe and just start to bring that in of, you know, feeling the back open up of notice your breathing not only are you just noticing that breathing is just when you breathe in how does that oxygen feel in through coming up through the nasal cavity like all of these type of things when you start to notice that um down and bring yourself into that space where you can be at ease mm. at peace and that is, that really is something, and it's just, and for some people, they're really, really wound up, and they're not, and so it's like, so you just keep doing it, and the more that you do, it becomes, so that would be number one, um, that would be available at paulodendrea.com slash LP, and that is uh, instant access, and that is, um, you know, just a complimentary gift from me, because the more people can learn to do that, the better off they're going to be. If that was the one thing that they did is just allow themselves to just be, you know, right. Um, and, and just come into a place where they can, you know, you know, it's the Calgon take me away moment, you know, they're sitting in the bathtub, you know, they're just kind of like coming in and some people don't know how to meditate. Some people don't know. How to, so just let yourself be guided through, you know, just I love that. step by step. And it's always nice to receive. I, I 
you know, I work with other people. I've got coach. I'm not coaching myself all the time. I'm not, you know, doing all these things, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to other people or other processes and so forth so that, you know, I get something new. It's kind of like, you know, I don't want to be eating the same food all the time. I don't want to be thinking the same things all the time. or just, you know, having, you know, listening to one song over and over again. It's, it's, it's again, is that the, the newness that comes in and, you know, getting some releasing some of that energy so that then I can receive something different. And um, for that. anyone that wants to take it a step further, um, I am, I'm sorry. Is this a good time to share that? Yeah, yeah, go for it because we're, we're wrapping up it's coming to the top of the hour, so. Okay. Let's bring okay, it on, Share and so for someone that, that has, yeah, for, so for someone that's been, <laughs> that's been listening and going, you know, you always, I always say that, you know, like, you know, when you're nodding your head, yes, and you're going, mm hmm you know, all that, while, while you're listening to somebody, that's a good indication that it's a good time to take it another step. Um, yeah, that's exactly. actually, is probably one of the, the best indications that you can get in really listening to the body is just that instant, it, it no what to do just automatically goes into action right? right so for those people that um would love to spend i'm offering a two-hour virtual retreat and um right. with that they will um i'm going to do a, a forgiveness meditation and that is uh, will blow you away how much energy you release um during that time uh, we're going to focus on one where they've got trapped energy and we're going to go in and release that and then we're going to activate new energy so you've got three things we're going forgiveness we're having a release old trapped energy and then we're going to activate new energy that is now going to load. in addition to that um 30-day email support so Monday to through Thursday is when I check in on that. You're welcome to send oh, really? as much as they want, as little as they want. Um, the responses are Monday through Thursday. Or another uh, a bonus of a 20-minute call, so that we can regroup, make sure that they're set to go to the next um, the next phase. <laughs> really love to say hi. And normally that um, that investment. Uh, hi, hi there, baby. <laughs> so that normal investment is usually a seven fifty, and for um, for your uh, your summit and your people, Lauren, I'm going to do it for five hundred. So it's oh, perfect. so much that happens in two hours. Um, a lot of the feedback I get is that it's like basically like um, six months of therapy through <laughs> coming in two hours of between the releases that happen in the healing um i'm gonna go all out with you and um and so um and then also for people that um that do come into the virtual vip mm -hmm. i'm going to um add in uh, a reset zone so that practice the external meditation um as they as they continue to go through and um is there anything else that you think that um that somebody would would um no i think that's great value with that for, lauren no i love the, as okay. far as what you're offering for the value of it just to, all the things you've been talking about you can really change and transform someone's life by getting out of the pain um finding out what's holding them back draining the some of this energy that's stuck um for two two hours on a retreat with the, the support you're giving, I think that's priceless. So for 500 bucks, I mean, that's, I don't know how somebody cannot do that because we all have it. I didn't know I had it. Okay. So I went through something like this. And no brainer. Figured it okay. out. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. wow. And then. And, Thanks for sharing that too, Lauren, because, um, you know, first of all, um, uh, congratulations on your breakthrough. Thank that's, you. That's huge. And. And also, too, that you're sharing it. Um, I think you have something similar is that, you know, I've gotten two compliments I've always received is that you're so strong and you have beautiful eyes. And, you know, um, I always take that. And I think probably, you know, many people because, you know, you have a lot of friends, you know, I've met you in person. And when people meet you, you know, that is, you know, you're, you have your body and then also your, 
um, it just everything about you is just like, wow. Um, so people feel that strength right off the bat and share um, that vulnerability. I mean, it's, it's, it just shares that, that part of you, that, that vulnerable side that, you know, and don't tell anybody in even, <laughs> even more. Don't tell anybody I was a big cry baby. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you do the sharing on that one. But I'm very happy to, to have been able to experience um, and that yeah. you did share during well, the course of our time together. Well, so, yeah, but that's why I just it. wanted to, to, like, for my own personal experience, how how your work and what you're offering. Because I, like I said, I'm going through it. I've been through it, a lot of it. I'm still experiencing mm -hmm. it and it's a process it's not just in two hours you're going to be healed so you know the, the follow-up that you're offering and all of this is very mm -hmm. important it really is because i was up there crying in front of you know 80 powerful mm -hmm. people big leaders in the room and and i couldn't help it even if mm -hmm. i tried but they were like the, being vulnerable was my superpower instead of me seeing that it was weak like i've been uh, br brought up to be because i'm all about you know physical mm -hmm. strength and all these this power like you were talking about my whole persona is, yeah I was, hey, this is called the power hour right the mm -hmm. power hour with lauren powers but i'm up there mm -hmm. the, the most vulnerable and open and my heart was wide open but what pours in is so worth it that it was amazing so what you're offering makes total sense yeah to me i mean i can't wait personally to go through this i love that forgiveness meditation we've got to i think first forgive ourselves I think that is so important and it's just in itself and that self-love and that self-care and all that stuff is all sure. I'm about, you know what I mean? So you tie right in. So I'd love to maybe collaborate mm -hmm. with you on the backside of this yeah. and with, you know, some of my clients and put you in my packages because it is about putting yourself first and acknowledging that self-love and the self-care and all these things that go into it. And this is part of the strategy to release this mm -hmm. trap yeah. things and events that would happen to us that we would not remember. I don't remember when I was, you know, one or two years old. I just don't. I don't remember what I did yesterday. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just, you yeah. get me? So, I get all this. So, this is just so great. I'm so yeah. happy we met. Um, there are no mistakes. You you approached me. I just got off a stage in LA, Los Angeles, and I you've never seen me before. And you came right up to me. You're like, Lauren, I, you're so powerful. I want to be part of whatever you're doing. And this is what I'm doing. And you're here. I stick to my word. And you, you follow through. And this is how things happen. We manifested this entire thing together so i take that as a huge yep. blessing there are no mistakes and you know the follow-up i appreciate you following up with me and making sure this thing happened and what you're offering the audience is priceless to me so if you haven't booked book here we're going to have the emails the, the bios the headshots all the stuff your free gifts will go out with the promo piece on this and uh, we're really excited we'll do some more stuff for sure <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add to that, Paula? <laughs> well, you know, well, thank you so much. Because it's just, been, um, I'm receiving all that. And thank you um, for, for saying all that. I really appreciate it. And, and just, you know, right on with everything that, that you just said. I would say that the, the one thing is that um, all of this, what it does is it enhances all of the rest. Mm. like this is that as you take that in and you start to integrate that into more anything that you already had with that energy coming in it just makes all of the rest of it so much more more beautiful yeah i know it really does it magnifies it um you know and just you know amps amps you up even higher so again congratulations on on allowing yourself to to go there because I, I know how it goes. There are times that even in that room full and going through that thing where somebody will still say, no, get up and leave the room. Yeah. Um, just squash it and and say, forget it. So no, let it out, you, let it out. For going ahead evil uh, at the time. Thank you. And there, yeah, so uh, yeah. I give you. We we'll have to acknowledge that the, the, the CEO. Here's the CEO of the, the show <laughs> making her first. What's first your doggy's name? Appearance. This is her first big appearance. She's been audio in the background way too many, so now people get to see. 
who's making all that big noise, this little tiny thing. She's, she, what's her name? Miss Millie. And Miss, what is her name? Millie. Miss Millie. Miss Millie. <laughs> Look at her. She likes the camera. Millie. Yes. Millie. So we're going to say goodbye. Sweet. And I appreciate everything and all your offers and all your knowledge and your wisdom that you've been sharing with the audience today. We're having a little bit of um, audio problems here. I think it's the internet because so many people are, are on at this time. Mm -hmm. So we are going to wrap this up. We are going to be seeing more of Paula in the future. I can't wait. And I honor you. Thank you for all that you've been sharing with us. I'm looking forward to working with you personally. I want to jump on that, that uh, guided meditation from head to toe. I'm excited about that. And we will talk really soon. My pleasure. My pleasure. I really, really enjoyed the conversation. And thanks again for, for having me part of this. Thanks, Lauren. You're very welcome. All right, till the next show of The Power Hour, stay tuned, and we'll be talking to another expert on our next episode. Once again, thanks, Miss Paula. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Peace out.